how are you standing? I'm like sliding off the wall here. You're just sitting here chasing me. Getting really nervous. Well, 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 well. Look at what we have here. Dagoth Ur is what it's called. This place is called Dagoth Ur. This is, this is kind of crazy. Okay, listen, this is like my third or fourth attempt to record this. And now it's 3.22 a.m. I'm kind of delusional right now. Like I've had minimal sleep and a borderline breakdown, but we're gonna finish Morrowind today. That's stupid. Uh. Oh. Come, Nerevar, friend or traitor, come. Come and look upon the heart and a Kulakan. And bring Wraithguard. I have need of it. <laughs> that honestly sounded like it could have been like Vivek or something. Come to the heart chamber. I wait for you there where we last met countless ages ago. So it's him. You know, for an awful, awful god. He has a very smooth voice. I like his voice. It's very relaxing. I'm just casually taking out Dagoths by just breathing on them. I don't even worry about it. I'm doing this totally legitimately, okay? Come to me through fire and war. I welcome you. Do you? Because you keep talking to me like I'm not already coming to you right now. Dagoth Urge is resides in the Dwimmer. The, the Dwimmer re, uh, reserves. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. It's 322 AM. Why is there just a pit? Do you need a pit of lava for anything? Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place for you. I don't know, I don't know how to reply, dude. Uh, you're the guy that everybody's telling me I'm supposed to kill. Um, die. <laughs> Dagoth draws. You're no match for my little booper. Come, bring Wraithguard to the heart chamber. Together, let us free the cursed false gods. What? Together, let us free the cult for cursed gods? Are, is he calling himself cursed? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know what to do! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Dagoth rather die, am I right? <laughs> Welcome, Nerevar. Together we shall speak for the law and the land and shall drive the mongrel dogs of the Empire from Morrowind. Dude, I gotta go back to the upper tower because I have no idea which way I'm supposed to go because I want to go the other way. Whoa. Whoa, fully glassed out. It's because he had a piece of shit weapon. What were you thinking? Oh, I'm so beyond nervous, and I literally have no reason to be. <laughs> this guy's like constantly welcoming me. But he's got his forces just constantly trying to kill me. Yeah, man. Please, I want to come see you. Come straight to me. Come on. Let's go bring those fancy weapons of yours as well. Come on. Bring them straight to me. Come on, where you at? Wow, see, see, like, they did this on purpose. This was no accident. If you fall in here, you're fucked. Oh, stop. Stop it. Oh my god. That's not him. That's not him. That looks like one of his great protectors, but that's not him, right? Oh my god, just look at that. He looks like he's made out of stone. Imagine something like made out of stone just trying to run at you like that. Also, can we just take a minute to see how derpy the situation is? It looks like he could be a product of Vivek. I mean, he really does. It looks like he could be his like nephew or something. Gilvoth? See, no one ever mentioned you, my guy. Is this how you honor the sixth house and the tribe unmourned? Come to me openly and not by stealth. <laughs> there ain't no stealth about what I'm doing. No point in the Nash statue. I guess he didn't find that out in time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh 
my god.